Okay, now I also would like to add one more template and that is for user single. And what do we want to write here? Well, uh, what I think is that when we view a single user, we of course would like to show all their projects with a list so you can kind of click on all the projects um, in some way. So let's start off. Let's um, start B with an H1 with a class equals pod title, maybe something like this. And we say projects for, and now we would like to output the username, and that is a special uh, field that is called display name. Uh, and then we can close the h1 like this. Um, then maybe users don't have any projects yet, so we do an if projects. Uh, and then we know that if there are no projects, well, then we can write it. You also have an else statement, and we I will show you that shortly. But let's add now a section uh, with a class equals projects like this and then we can loop through each project uh, in this way and let's uh, have um, well last time we used a list so let's use something else here div class equals project uh, like this and then we can have a div class image And then we can again have the, uh, let's have the post. And now you see that I got no autocomplete. Why? Well, because I haven't selected anything in this one. Um, but let's go for the post thumbnail. And as I am working with the projects now, well, then I can actually select the projects here because then I will get the autocomplete for that one because now I kind of in the projects. So let's close the div here. Um, and let's also add an uh, H4 maybe uh, with the post name. And of course, we want to be able to click on these. So let's go back here and add that one. And it's, it's kind of the same as we used the last time. href equals, and then we have the at sign, and we have the UID for this one. Close that one. And then we close the anchor at the end. Uh, and we copy that one and we also paste it here and we close that one here like that and then of course we need to close the div like that and then we are done with our each and then we are need to set this up as a section and then we need to close the if statement. But if you would like to output anything else, well, then there is also an else that you can use. And then you can write just an h4, maybe, or maybe just a paragraph. Uh, there are no projects yet for this user something like that and now you can publish this one now we have a problem though because if we go to the pods admin and we go to the users well there is an auto template options and we can enable that one and the singular template well we can use the user single and it should go after the same as we had before and we can save the pod but 
how can we view a single user? Well, we don't have any single user in our current site. Uh, we don't have a page for that. Uh, so instead of using this one, uh, I'm going to use a pod uh, because the pods also have some kind of blocks that we can use. So what I would like to do is that I would like to create a new page. New page and then I say uh, projects um something like that projects uh, projects uh, my projects maybe my projects and here i would like to add a block and if we write pods you will see that you can add different uh, things here and in this case i would like to add a pods single item um no i actually don't want to use that one and the reason for that is that I can't change um, the... Oh, maybe I can do that here. I'm not sure. I don't think that we will see that one. Uh, I don't think this will work here. Uh, but anyway, uh, when you do this, you need to select the pod. And it is the user pod. And it is a special template. And it is a user single. Um, and now we can see projects for... But we don't have set up the ID for the user yet. So let's try user five maybe. Uh, and you see that if I write five, well, then I get something here. I don't get the display name. Uh, let's see, two new product this user. Uh, I have something wrong with that one probably. Uh, but you see that I can add a slug or an ID here. But the problem is that now I need to create one page for each user and that is not a good thing. So what I would like to do is that I will actually like to remove this one and then I would like to use uh, pods item list instead. It's kind of the same. You use the user pod and you use the user single template. Uh, and now we see that they get a lot of listing here, but still no names. But at the bottom here you have a where statement and in this one you can actually connect this one so it grabs something from the URL or something from somewhere else but I'll leave it as this because this is a little bit specific so we take this in the next movie